Also, um, if you're trying to skip text as fast as possible, and, like, before the text pops up, you don't want to, like, spam all three. Like, you can see my fingers, like, I'm moving all of them. That's dumb. Like, just, you want to hold down L and R at the same time, and then you can just spam B. That's what you want to do. Um, instead of spamming all three of them, you might as well just hold down two of them and just spam the last one. Um, and that's kind of applicable for, like, the very beginning of the game when you first start. And there's some text that comes up with bottles. Okay, it's time for a little bit of a cool trick. Um, we are going to do a jump to the hand that's pointing right here, flap onto it, and then we're gonna go up to the top of the hat and get the jiggy in there. Normally you'd have to fall through the hole in the ceiling, but this is a handy little trick. I suggest that you try to aim right for the, what is this, the middle finger? I think this finger down here is her middle finger, so yeah, aim for her middle finger. And then, <laughs> and then when you land up here, you won't be in Talon Trot, so you're gonna want to go here, and then you're gonna want to do a rat-tat-tap to get up. Whoa. Silly. What is this? Yeah, there you go. The uh, momentum's a little bit thrown off there. <laughs> okay. Here you can actually get up there, as long as you flap at the right time. Else you'd have to go around the two platforms, or like, do a backflip up or something, so that's slow. Okay. After you hit ground pound this switch here, you can enter Talon Trot, which is just a nice little time save. So just, ah, oh, I didn't do it. You just you want to hold down Z and then just spam the uh, left C to enter Talon Trot, and it should get it before the cutscene starts normally. And then by doing the jump up here, you can get the jiggy if you do either a roll or a shoot an egg, or Technically this works, so I'll just do it to be silly, um, but yeah, normally you just want to do a roll or shoot an egg, so yeah. And there's a Momo token you can grab behind there, which I grab, it's pretty fast, so. You can either, uh, crap those eggs to do that, or you can just shoot them straight forward, either or. That was uh, a Talon Trot skip. If you missed it, you can just go back a little bit. You just... Maybe saves like a third of a second or less, but you just... Enter Talon Trot right as it, about when you're about to hit the... The uh, zone. And... You will do it as the animation is happening. To enter Talon Trot. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do the first part of Freezy Peak. The reason that we have to do Freezy Peak and then go back to it again is because we need the Beak Bomb ability in Freezy Peak to finish Gobi's Valley. And then people would be like, well, why don't you just do Gobi's Valley first, and then... Or, why wouldn't you just do all of Freezy Peak first, and then do Gobi's Valley? Well, <laughs> you need a trick in Gobi's Valley to beat Fre Freezy Peak. So the game creators made it so you have to double back. Um, but technically, uh, if you want to be all technical, uh, there is a glitch in Gobi's Valley that makes it so you skip, uh, having to go, you don't have to go to Freezy Peak 1 for Skip Beak Bomb, but it's only been done in TAS, and a few, it's been done a few times non-TAS, but definitely not in a run. It, it's way too tricky for that. Um, but I wouldn't be that surprised if someone messes around with possibly doing it in RTA, but I highly doubt it. It's basically tasks only at the moment. Maybe if there's like a better setup for it. So I don't, I'm not gonna grab any of these notes because grabbing notes in this game when you leave a level just puts them back there and you have to re-grab them. So all we're gonna be worrying about is getting the presence and getting Beak Bomb. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm getting the presence. 
<laughs> also, if you happen to fall back behind there, you can grab that mumble token now. That's okay. Okay. Whoa! Here you can do a, a town trot skip in the air where you just enter as you're falling. Or start your town trot as you fall, sorry. And now we're gonna get the beat bomb ability from Bottles. You wanna try to be a little bit away from him so that when you talk to him here, you slide forward. Just a little bit of a movement time saver instead of bouncing off him, which would waste a little bit of time. Okay. Again, not grabbing any of the notes. We're just gonna beat bomb straight towards where you want to go to, which is to grab this present. Now we're gonna go up here, grab the last present, and then we are gonna do pipe jiggy. So pipe jiggy hype, everyone. And there's pipe jiggy. I was flying, so I was able to skip the animation, which is nice. Funny little fun fact about the Jiggies that uh, spawn. They will spawn in different directions depending on the last enemy that you killed, what direction he was killed in. Like, if there was an enemy to my left and I killed him like this, going to my left, then if a Jiggy spawns, some of the Jiggies will shoot off in a certain direction. It's whatever direction you killed the last enemy, which is really silly, but... So the, the, if the Jiggy was supposed to spawn here and shoot off somewhere, it would shoot off to the left. Okay. But of course, the Jiggy that just spawns and just goes you know, straight down like that, that's, that'll just be normal, and there's nothing that can be changed there. Okay. <laughs> Gobi's Valley is going to be a fun one. I'm gonna show both routes for Gobi's Valley, so, uh, well, not, I guess they're not two different routes exactly, but just if you want to do Gobi's Clip or if you don't want to do Gobi's Clip, um, which I suggest that, well, it's actually kind of funny because even if you're new to the game, if you're on an emulator, I would suggest that you do Gobi's Clip because it is actually very easy to do on an emulator. Um, but it's it's not easy to do on console. So if you're on console and you're just starting, definitely don't do it. Um, so if you're not doing Gobi Clip, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go up here. Whoa! I mean, if you know how to run, if you know how to play the game, then you should already know this. This is nothing new. <laughs> you know, I hope that you played through the game and know what what would be going on here. And you you would shoot eggs into both um, of the nostrils. Okay. And that's also a good backup strat if you miss Gobi Clip and you're low on health, you should do this strat. But, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to do the Gobi Clip, which is very finicky and can be very mean, especially when you have lower health like I do right now. But you don't want to lose health there, that's bad. Um, yeah, it's bad. You... Like, I don't know. It's it's risky to do Gobi Clip. Even if you are the best in the world at Gobi Clip, like, you, the best runners will still lose runs to this clip because of control. But basically what you want to do is line up an angle. Um, I don't know if I'm technically the best person to look at an angle for this. It's probably just better to watch the divs run, but this angle doesn't look bad. Um, and then you would just whoop, try to hold R to make sure that your angle is going to be good. And then you just do this until you get it. And I'm not going to get it right now, so I don't want to die, obviously. Um, so now I'm going to do the backup strat. Or I could, I could technically get more health and just try it again so you guys can see it. But, 
Yeah, it's if you did what I just did and you were on emulator, then you would get it, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it, I guess. If you're on console though and you're starting, don't do it. <laughs> Not worth it. I still don't do it sometimes because it saves I think people estimated it saves like 15 seconds-ish, and it, uh, yeah, about 15 seconds, and what you get from that is, it's just, it's not worth the risk, unless you're a really good runner. In my personal opinion, if, if you're on console and you're in, like, you'd have to be in, like, the top, like, 10-ish to do a Gobi clip, else it's just not even worth your time, because you'll... you're gonna lose runs to it. But if you're on an emulator, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Whoa. Grab some of these eggs here if you're low. I actually am a little low. I'm gonna grab a few. Whoa. I'm gonna grab these. You want to have a lot of eggs for Gobi's Valley because there's a lot of different spots where you have to use them. World Record does do Gobi Clip, yes. And then there's the the thing with Gobi Clip that sometimes you'll do it faster and sometimes you do it slower. Like if you get on the very first try, or if it takes you three or four tries, that can also affect it and make it not as even less of 15 seconds of a difference. For doing it, so these guys—it's not the same route every time, unfortunately. So you just have to watch where they're gonna where they're gonna be. And some of these, it's a good idea to beak bomb, and some of them, it's not a good idea to beak bomb because you can either die or you're too close to it and you'll pass it or something bad. Um, but yeah, obviously, beak bombing is faster to get over there, so it just depends on your proximity. And how you're feeling, like how much health do I have? Like I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna beat bomb that because I go through it and then I probably end up hitting the wall because I'm too close. So, but this one is way across the entire side, so I'm gonna go ahead and beat bomb all the way over there. If you're if you're really uh, good at the beat bomb, you can actually grab that mumbo token, which is nice. And also, if it's the last goal, you can beak bomb into the goal, and it'll you'll you'll stop, and then um, as you go into the goal. But sometimes that doesn't happen, and some people have lost runs because of that. <laughs> and yeah, it's just kind of like luck of the draw. So if you're, in other words, if your name is Striker, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> All right. Here you wanna, uh, you're just gonna shoot eggs in. You have to shoot five. So, I shot six because just in case if one of them missed, then hopefully that sixth one would have landed. It probably would have landed in if one of the other ones missed, but it's not that big of a deal. It's funny, when you first start, that actually is kind of annoying to do, and so a lot of people will waste a decent amount of time there. And eggs. And if you run low on eggs, then you're gonna waste more time gathering more so you can do the end of the level. So. Okay. Here he's gonna replenish my health, which is very important. Health is actually like pretty important in Gobi's Valley now because um, you have to do tricks that waste health and so it, there isn't a lot of health to work with but obviously because we're not going to be using the uh, the boots for this because it would be slow um, we're gonna lose some health there but we know that we're doing it so it's fine all right it is time for the grabba the grabba jiggy uh, skip or turbo boot skip. Normally you want to be have the speed shoes here. That's like the whole point. That's the mechanic. You're supposed to have the speed shoes. But we're not going to do that. We are going to use the trick where your shadow touches flat ground and you can go higher. And we're going to go really high up onto the uh, mountain here. And then we are going to uh, jump towards Graba. And at the very uh, 
top of our jump, we are going to uh, rat tat tat. That is very, very important. The main thing that people like to confuse with this skip is that you want to wait longer to rat tat tat for some reason, or maybe you want to rat tat tat earlier because they think they need to make it there. Um, the most. If you think that you're trying to get there faster by rat tat tapping earlier to get it, that's not going to work. The only thing that matters to get this to get this the first try, or to be able to do this trick, is you want to have as much height as possible. So, okay. So, we are going to, uh, well actually I'll be in talent trot. We're going to jump up, well, what, what am I doing? Um, we are going to jump up here, roll, and then at the very top of our jump, we're going to do that. And then it is a little bit tricky to grab, so I'm going to do it again. Top of the jump, grab the jiggy. So I think the first time I didn't get it is because my, uh, at my jump to before the roll was not good enough. But the rat tat tap was good. There's a few different things that can make that so your height isn't high enough. Also, notice that the uh, the running shoes song is going now. It's just kind of like a weird thing that happens. They're both going at the same time. It's just weird. Just kind of like very quietly in the background. Kind of creepy. Okay. You can also jump after you hit that switch, so you can get lower here. Oh, sorry. I, I My knee was in front of the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Here, you just want to follow this pattern. Although, I think there's another pattern you can do too, but... Whatever you feel like doing, it's fine. You're going to want to use uh, Wonder Wing, though, to kill that guy. Now, the reason that the health was important is because we're going to be grabbing this honeycomb inside this cactus um, by taking damage. And so we actually, we only have two chances to get it. That's it. Um, and if you a accidentally took more health before the this point, you only have one chance to get it. And then after that you have to go grab health, which I will show you where that health is. Um, as the backup strat or whatever. Wow, I actually was on the right timing for that. That if for some reason you're lucky enough to have the <laughs> the rug show up at the right time or the magic carpet, then I guess you can take less damage. So I actually have three chances to do this because I have four health. But I am gonna uh, stand next to the cactus. Just look where I'm standing. And then you wanna wait until Grabba has fully emerged out of the ground. And then you're gonna backflip. Um, in the middle of your black flip, he should hit you, which will bounce you up into the cactus. And you're going to want to be aiming with your analog stick, like the direction that you want to go as you're getting hit, because you can kind of control that as you're getting hit. Or like right before you're getting hit, I guess. You want to, at, at the top of your back flip, right before he hits, you want to hold towards that way, towards the cactus. So yeah, all right, so this is basically it. I'm just going to show it. Right, once he emerges, get hit. Wow, that was weird. I somehow missed it, but then I jumped back through and got it. Um, but if you mess it up a few times and you don't get it, there's health right over there. So you just get that. Um, so we continue. Jump right as you're landing on that uh, platform there, for that button or whatever. And you'll just, well, you'll go a little further, so just kind of a nice tip. 
Also here, don't worry about getting the feathers and eggs because you want to make sure you get to the top as fast as possible. And if you're on emulator, then you actually have like two seconds less to do this, so it's, it's way harder on emulator. Um, so the reason is that the door closes right away like super fast on emu, but doesn't close very fast on console. So when you fall in, you'd want to go over to the left, as f you want to hold left so that you grab that mumbo token. Unless you feel like skipping it, um, sometimes I feel like if I already have enough mumbo tokens, I'll skip it because it's faster to just go straight for this jiggy down here. <coughs> wow, I need some water. Hm. Water. Hm. Okay. This face though, like look at this face. Does anyone notice that? Like honestly, so weird. Okay. I don't know why emulator is different than console. There's just there's just weird little differences that I've noticed since I played on both of them for a while. Whoa. Okay. This is uh you have to do three of these. This is why it's nice to have extra eggs if you mess up on these. So especially if you're just starting, make sure you have a lot of eggs before you go into this part. Or uh, make sure that when you shoot the eggs, you're making it count, and you're not gonna mess up. Or I guess there's only two left, because we already did one, but yeah. I like to hold R and, and rotate as I go with that. Like, slowly turn with it as I hold R. So, yeah. Okay. We're getting towards the end of Gobies. There's... One more trick that we're gonna do. Pretty cool trick. Basically, we are going to uh, jump up up on this wall here because there's kind of like a slope, and then we're gonna get on top of the maze, which you can see how that would help you, obviously, because you can just walk over the maze. Um, make sure that you don't fall here, though. That would be kind of annoying. All your your hard effort trying to get up there and then you waste it because you fall back into the maze. Another little, uh, a little tidbit that, uh, is useful is if you're in Talon Trot and you run into, like, a Jiggy, uh, you'll waste time because you have to leave Talon Trot. But if you press B, which is rat tat tapping, right before you touch the ground or right before you touch the Jiggy, then you will immediately cancel Talon Trot, which saves a little bit of time. So basically all I'm saying is if you're ever going to go, if you're ever grabbing a Jiggy, make sure you cancel Talon Trot by pressing B, which is rat tat tap, um, as you're going into the Jiggy. It's, it's good to just rat tat tap into all the Jiggies basically. So yeah. Or just don't be in Talon Trot when you grab a Jiggy. Okay, so now I'm going to do a quick dive. Um, interesting thing about this quick dive is that if you actually do the quick dive good enough, you'll go all the way to the bottom, and you'll take damage because the game thinks that you're not swimming and that it's like before when there was no water and there was sand at the bottom where you take damage. So hopefully I can show that because it's nice to be at one health because I have to do a death warp at the end. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. I almost took damage. But yeah. Uh, if you have one health and you're gonna do that quick dive, well, actually, no. <laughs> if you have one health, don't do that quick dive, because if you do happen to go all the way to the bottom, you will die uh, on on the bottom while you're underwater. And it's, it's, it's really sad. It's like, wow, that glitch just killed me. And I totally saw it coming. I, I, I don't even want to recall the- I've had two or three runs where I've dived to that and I just- it was bad. It was not fun. Okay. Alright, so here, uh, we're gonna grab this Jiggy while we're in, uh, Turbo Talon Trot or whatever, the Speed Shoes, because then it skips the animation. You can just grab it and go. So I guess that's, that is a special case where I was saying that you don't want to be in Talon Trot when you grab Jiggies. If, if you're in, you know, one of the specialty, if you're in speed or whatever, speed shoes, that's fine. 
I hold B to get rid of the speed shoes, by the way, at the end. Okay. And I'm just taking damage here to Death Warp. 